Good morning, students. Welcome back to our video lecture series of Casting, Forming, Welding, ME31007. This subject is taught at third year undergraduate level. Uh, this subject is taught by four teachers, Professor Eskapal, Professor Eskapanda, Professor Ajay Sitpara, and myself. This is lecture five on heat flow. The welding thermal cycle. Thermal excursion, well temperature ranges from the ambient temperature of the work environment to above the liquidus temperature, possibly up to boiling point and above for some very high energy density process. Now what we uh, see, what we have seen about high energy density process, they are EBW and LBW, okay? So EBW and LBW, right? Laser beam welding and electron beam. The severity of this excursion in terms of the temperature reached, time taken to reach that temperature, and time to remain at that temperature completely determines the effects of, on structure, both at microstructure and macrostructural levels. So my, macrostructural for distortion and microstructural for material changes. We have already seen the differences in atoms and legends structures. To quantify the thermal cycle mathematically, we need temperature distribution in time as well as space coordinates, okay? So in time and space coordinates. Thermal cycle characterization by a thermocouples. Now we see here that uh, welding is being done from left to right. So these are the different points where thermocouples have been placed, okay? So A1, A2, A3 up to A5. And this is the starting point as zero. Now, if we try to plot the temperatures at these uh, thermocouples, then what we get? So, for thermocouple A, it looks like the temperature time plot. So, the temperature increases as the moving heat source comes closer to the thermocouple. And once it goes away, so there is convection and it gradually comes down. Again, for the next thermocouple, it comes in and it comes out. Okay? So, like that, the temperature grows and then the heat convex away. So, if we plot the temperature trace across the peaks, so this is what we get as the temperature time trace of the thermocouples. Now, thermal cycle was a steady state. So, what happens here? So, again, you see a moving heat source which is denoted with S. Now, there are two circles. What are these two circles? So, one is for the fusion zone, where the weight the wedge pool, the effect of the wedge pool, the molten metal. And the, and the zone away from this fusion zone is the has or the heat affected zone. So obviously, as we go far in this direction, the temperature will drop. Okay? So temperature isotherms surrounding a moving heat source remain steady and seem to move with the heat source. So these isotherms, they also move with the heat source in this direction. The generalized heat flow equation. So what does it say? So it's a typical Fourier heat conduction equation. So the heat supply plus heat generated or heat absorbed due to chemical reaction is equal to heat consumed for temperature rise as well as melting plus heat transferred via conduction plus heat loss via convection and radiation. So you can see the heat conduction. Okay. So the various way the heat is convected and the additional heat, heat loss. And this is the amount of heat absorbed. Okay? Absorbed or generated. The generalized heat flow equation. So obviously we have seen in the previous plot what are those x, y, and z uh, mean. So the coordinate in the direction of the welding, transverse to the welding, normal to the weldment surface. T is the temperature of the weldment in Kelvin. Small k is for the thermal conductivity of the material, rho density of the material, gram per millimeter cube, specific heat of the material denoted by C, Vx, Vy, Vz are the components of the weld velocity, Q rate of in any internal heat generation, okay, which is per millimeter, that is per unit volume. Effect of welding speed on shape of fusion and has. So from left to right, if we increase the velocity, what do we see? So on the shape of the fusion zone from the top view or the plan view, we see a circle. 
okay, when the velocity is zero. When the velocity is a bit higher, we see an elliptic, elliptical shape, then an elongated ellipse, a teardrop structure, and a detached teardrop. So this is in 2D top view, okay, or plan view. Whereas in case of 3D, this circle becomes a hemisphere. This is a prolate spheroidal, elongated prolate spheroidal, 3D teardrop, and 3D teardrop as well for very high velocity. So here it makes it clearer. For a very high velocity, this is continuous teardrop, whereas this is detached teardrop. Okay, so here the teardrop is detached. And this is the from left to right is the well direction. So coming to your homework, so these are some assignments. First question, what do you mean by well thermal cycle? Make sure you practice and understand the diagrams, the graphs in the figure. How do you characterize thermal cycle with help of thermocouples? What is the effect of welding speed on shape of the fusion zone? And draw schematic of teardrop formation at a very high velocity. Okay, thank you.